Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man, and welcome to Ksoge, which in Japanese means shit game, as you can probably tell from the piece of shit here. <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? So, somebody linked me this game um, on Facebook, um, and I thought, you know what, this looks like a really fucking stupid game that I think takes the piss out of every single romantic comedy visual novel you can think of. And, if you know me, I love my parody games. So I thought, you know what, let's play this piece of shit game. So we got, uh, Classmate Kun, who has Lenny face and is stabbing his arm because <laughs> of fucking chin. And then Yin Cho Chan, who is the class rep with the obvious plot. And then there's Yang Ki Sun, who is the, I guess, delinquent. Oh man, it's taking every anime trope and just upping the parody factor. And then, uh, oh yeah, you can't forget the protag who's in the back falling from grace. And by the way, I love this choice of fucking font. All lowercase too. Fuck it, let's start. Are you a complete noob to weeaboo anime culture? <laughs> well, well done. Giving us straight off the bat. You know what? Let's just say yes, just for the sake of this game. Okay, waifu notes activated. All weeaboo references will be identified. If you want to turn off the annoying cliff notes, please go to the preferences and spot the pink decorative waifu notes. Okay. I dreamt about zero waifus. I needed 25 waifus. Why not more? When I woke up, I wondered about what a wet dream that was. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pretty much. Waifu means wife. <laughs> God damn it. And you don't actually get 25 waifus in this game. Find another waifu dating game. <laughs> Alright. When I woke up, it was morning. Like every good fucking VN. I had just transferred to a new school back in my home country, Japan. Oh, okay. So, I guess I am Japanese in this game. I don't re I didn't remember anymore, but when I was young, I had lived in Japan for quite some time. Okay. What was... was my... was what my parents told me. Oh, okay. So I went to the bathroom. Oh, hold on, that's a weird segue, dude. Alright, whatever. It turned out I accidentally drank spoiled milk. Oof. So now I'm constipated. Ooh! Ooh! That's not good, bruh. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, he is really fun. This is a reference to Shinji from the other <laughs> Yep, it sure is. Uh, let's- I'll see if I can find the actual original photo if you guys don't know. Shinji sat on a metal folding chair while being very depressed about his life. Yeah, that was a fucking depressing as shit. Uh, series. By the way, I love the fucking pink heart pants that he's wearing right now, just just casually, you know. It's fucking nice. I sat down on the toilet seat and groaned painfully. Ugh. Finally, something came out. Oh, it was a small. It was small at first, but it combusted into life, <laughs> and everything exploded. <laughs> oh, you know what that's called, right? In the industry, not in, in the industry. That's called a champagne bottle. I'll let you figure out why it's called that. I was relieved of stomach pains, but now I was late for the first day of class in my new school. Yeah, what a way to start the new school. Oh, that's a nice sketchy... I like this kind of, uh, sketchy, I guess, filter? Instagram filter. My legs took me as far away as possible from my home, house until I got lost. What's the point of running if I didn't know where I was going? Yeah, good point. However, when I looked around, I felt a sense of deja vu. I remember this place from deep within my memories. <sighs> Feeling this feeling had made me want to turn that very nostalgic corner. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, I think that's... <laughs> These eyes are a reference to, um, Glass Mask. Uh, as I turned that corner, I accidentally ran into a girl who had a piece of toast in her mouth. Yep. This is an anime cliche, when the first anime girl that bumped into the main character ends up falling for him. The more you know. What? Get! chan kun san no honorific suffix- Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn these fucking waifu notes off, they're annoying as shit. <laughs> she fell with a thud and fainted. Help the poor girl leave her be. Well, we're gonna be a gentleman, alright? So we're gonna help the poor girl. Uh, are you okay? Hey, wow, look at those red fucking eyes, dude, and the, uh, the hairpins. Obviously a very feminine protag. Also, what the fuck is up with this music? Alright, whatever. Are you okay? I went to her side and shook her, but she lay lifelessly on the ground. As I hovered over to her, I accidentally stepped on her face. <laughs> Wow, fucking rude, dude. Whoops. Just... <laughs> I started to feel bad for having stepped on her and carried her body to a nearby... What's what? God, that's like the worst chip tune fucking remix I've ever heard. I placed her hardly nibbled on her toast. I placed her hardly nibbled on toast on top of her chest. 
Breakfast was an important part of your daily meals. After all, she would need it when she woke up. Yep. Her head was propped on top of my thighs for some strange reason when I had laid her body down. Unable to move an inch in fear that this stranger would wake up and see how I invaded her personal space, I too decided to take it out. Okay. <laughs> Not before long, the school bell rang. Well, you nailed that. Though I was originally lost, it surprised me to know how close by the school was. That's true. But either way, I opened my eyes, realizing that only five minutes had passed since I closed my eyes. Also, I was officially late for my first day of my new school. Yeah. On my lap, the redhead fidgeted from my abrupt movement. Ugh. She continued to moan as though she was sleeping on the best lap pillow in the world. Excuse me, but can you just wake up already? My lap is going nut. Her eyelashes fluttered open. She then reached f fondly towards my face. She felt the largest organ on my body against her palm. That large organ was <laughs> Well played. I know what you were guys are thinking, you dirty fucks, because I was as well. An angel. Excuse me? I actually really like this art style. Is that weird for a parody game? That this art style is like better than like 90% of Rempy games I've played? I'm sorry, but I believe you have mistaken me for someone else. Though I do have unnaturally white hair, I don't think that my parents' mystical lineage had any heavenly beings included. It, uh, uh? She seemed flabbergasted, enough to jump backwards with a triple axle jump. Oh shit, it's just like, whoa! G come in the fight! Oh, of course. She bowed and ran away astonishingly fast. Soon she was out of my sight. You forgot your toast! That's so important! What happened? I could only guess, tat, this is one of those one weird incidents that supposedly happens to everyone once they transfer to a new Japanese school in the middle of the semester. Nah. Maybe I should have just left it back there. But now it was late. Oh well. I guess I'll eat the toast. Okay, sure. I arrived to look. <laughs> okay. Shit Academy, sure. Literally, there was no one in sight. I don't know why it's called Ksugakuin, the school looks pretty nice if you ask me. Not only that, the school gates were closed. It didn't look like it, but my shonen protagonist senses felt an invisible barrier. <laughs> Whatever should I do? Climb the invisible gates or skip school? No, we're going to be a gentleman and we're also going to be responsible. So we're going <laughs> to climb the invisible gates. I guess that counts as responsible. I guess I should climb over the gates because that's such a great idea. Never mind the possibility that I could be caught by a security guard for sus suspicious activity. So I pushed my foot onto the metal gate and climbed upwards. I picked up the pace and hopped over to the other side. Stealthily, like a ninja, since Japan is where Shinobi and Kunichi originated from, if you didn't know already, I sneakily ran towards the school and up to the third floor where my class was located. Behind the door to my classroom, I could hear Miss, I mean Sensei-san, getting ready to introduce me, the transfer student. Just as Sensei-san, you don't... You don't put sun after sensei, it's just sensei. Just as sensei-san was about to finish telling the class, oh god, I, I, I'd wish that this would be one of those rampy games that had proper grammar, but I guess not, it's a rampy game. Telling the class that I should be arriving any second now, I walked in. Oh, what do we have here? If it isn't, if it isn't it, the protagonist. I was just talking about you to the class. The class began to buzz as I stepped into the room. They could see that I wasn't just any normal transfer student. I could hear whispers here and there, certainly caused by me and my strange foreign appearance. Is that white hair? What's with his name? He's cute, but he's a gaijin. <laughs> the chattering seemed seemed got out, seemingly got out of control before Sensei Sun silenced her class with a loud cough. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a Snape voice. Ahem, class, onegai minasan. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the fucking state voice doesn't work with Japanese words. Please greet your new classmate. Yoroskuni Good. Now, Protagon, could you tell something about yourself? Sure. How should I introduce myself? Play it safe. Play it smooth. Play it real. Uh. You know, not only are we going to be a gentleman and responsible, but we're going to be smooth. My name. <laughs> Do they have to put George Michael in this? <laughs> oh god, I hope this isn't- I hope this doesn't get copyrighted. Fuck. My name is the protagonist. I'm 17 years old. I'm from America, even though I was born in Japan. My sign is Aquarius. My bus weight hot hip is 31, 26, 33. 
I enjoy reading cheesy romantic books and taking long walks on the beach. Mm. I've mastered black belt in 10 different types of martial arts, even Shaolin soccer. <laughs> I'm currently single and I'm looking for an Aibo or Koibito right now. That means lifelong partner. What I look in for a person is their personality, not just their looks. If you're interested in getting to know me, send me a Tinder request. <laughs> or friend or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Furry Affinity, and MySpace. Yeah, I still use MySpace. And if you're wondering, I'm a natural whitehead, born from the oily skin of my father. <laughs> Call me Senpai. So where do I sit? <laughs> God, that was awkward. <laughs> uh, um, you can sit in the back next to... The door slammed open just when Sensei-san was about to tell me where to sit. Oh, there's the girl. I came... In, oh, I came? I'm sorry, that, don't take that out of context, please. In came the girl I saw a few scenes ago, and now with a fierce and wild aura. She walked past me as though the incident this morning didn't happen. Yankee-san, what are you doing? Not only coming in late, but also interrupting the transfer student's introduction. Which I finished quite a while ago. Shh, Sensei-san, Chan. Chan, how disrespectful. Ten points off Gryffindor. Stand out in the hallway, young lady. Instead, she sat herself down and tilted her chair back dangerously like cool person. I'm sorry for the shitty Snape impersonation, by the way. <laughs> Since their son seemed quite furious, but finding my place to sit was so much more important. I hope I get the back row seat by the window, like every good protagonist. Since their son, my seat? Error, protagon. You can sit next to that Yankee son in the back row seat next to the window. I feel that you can make her a better person somehow. And so I sat next to that girl, who seemed all too fierce and all too terrifying at this point. However, throughout class, I did not feel in any evil aura from her. Class ended quickly and peacefully. That was good. That was finally the end of my first day of school. Now I had to go home like the good kid I am. Yay! As I walked out the classroom, I spotted Yankee son at the end of the hallway. With the way she made that impression on me this morning, I was quite interested in stalking her further. I hoped I wouldn't get in trouble with her, but she's so mysterious. So I followed her, but on the next corner, I lost her. Where could she have went? Ooh, left or right? Ooh, uh, Snape said always go left. I'm going left, bruh. I turned left and sighted a house. A surge of deja vu kicked in. This house, I, I think I know this house. Suddenly someone touched my shoulder. Oh my god, big boobed inch or fuck yes. Um, excuse me, but you're blocking the entrance to my house, Desu. <laughs> it was so nice until you said Desu. Oh, 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 sorry. I moved out of the way, embarrassed. Hey, do I know you? <laughs> God damn it. How many fucking personalities do I want to put on this girl? Huh? Oh my god, you're the new transfer student, Yang. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm in your class. You can call me Angel Chan. I'm the class representative of my class. <laughs> she smiled prettily and took my hand. W what? Why don't you come in for tea, Desu? What? No, I, I gotta go. I pulled my hand away from hers and sped off to the sunset. This wasn't a part of my Keikaku. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. If you guys didn't know, Keikaku means plan. Keikaku means plan. End. Game of- <laughs> What the f- <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. <laughs> if you guys want to see the rest, I guess hit that like button. And let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Why does? <laughs> Why is this game so funny? Oh, I love it. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I guess. Thanks for watching. As always, like, favorite, if you enjoy. Subscribe for any banner. Keep watching anime. Johnny.